lovely lot and a big warm welcome to anybody new joining my channel today and if nail art is something that you're interested in then please consider subscribing now guys we're going to do jubilee jewels today that's what i've decided to call it so here in the uk as i am doing this we all break up today it's wednesday the 1st of june because thursday the 2nd through to the 5th which is sunday is jubilee celebrations here in the uk so everybody's doing you know red white and blue and flags and when i, I thought to myself i don't i don't want to do that i want to do jewels because to me when i think of the queen i think of regal i think of diamonds i think of crowns so that's where i'm going I'm, that's my train of thought that's what i want to do so stick with it trey let's get on so i decided to put a nice sparkly pink on all four nails here today and i have picked out slush fairy from cjp and it's going to go full nail on every nail here okay so that's the way we're going for this and then i've got all my jewels out in fact i didn't even like pick one or two <laughs> of, the, of my sparklies i pulled the whole freaking drawer out <laughs> i've got two and i picked the whole lot out and i put it on my desk and i was rummaging through them and i just i laid it all out and i thought right where can we go with this because I, I really wanted to do full-on bling guys and while i was you know rummaging around as you do i found a crown and i thought perfect so that's that's the road i'm going down this is what we're gonna do so let's talk nails and talk about the acrylic placement today so i've popped in some four stiletto tips they literally just the, the one whole tip and it just slides into the iguana hand that i've got sorry red iguana hand so yeah everything is linked below in the description box the hand the tips the acrylic brush everything so on all four nails i am going to pop down the acrylic i pop down that bead first then i took it in around that cuticle area making sure it's nice and neat and then i blend down just making sure it's not touching the skin there pull it down and then just blend the front of that bead down then what i'll do is pick up another bead of acrylic pop that on blend it back so we don't get any ridges pack pull and press bringing that acrylic down to the very tip all the time keeping that shape i'm going to do that to all four nails i am then going to uh, clear cap all of these nails i will file and buff them into shape then i'm going to dig out the gems guys i didn't mess around i just pulled out the drawer and we just went for it so i am going to use the stick it gem gel from ugly duckling um to put down the big pieces here so anything that's rather large i will put into that gem gel now i can move and, and smidge this around get it exactly where i want it and it will stay there and i can maneuver it and play with it right up until i put it in the lamp the smaller gems i am going to come in with kiara sky dip base anybody that watches my channel that i do like that when it comes to gem placements and i will just pop a little bit of that down and pop in these smaller gems the little fillers they are that just finish off the uh, the jewels in this design today so the gems that i pulled out the drawer were a crown it was a big silver crown it was fantastic full of ab's it was beautiful i've got a pink crystal heart there i've also got some ab crystals now you see me here go in with that kiara dip base and then i just go in with a couple of little ab crystals just to finish off that design for that finger i'm going to whack that in the led lamp give that a full cure and then on a long stripe brush i've dipped that into that stick it gem gel from ugly duckling and i've done um a half moon shape in the cuticle area in the nail bed and i'm coming in with some caviar beads that i'm picking up on the tip of that brush and popping into that gem gel that you can see here now guys this is another great reason to use the gem gel in this particular instance 
and not the Kiara uh, Sky Glue is because I've got time. I can pop them all on, then put them in position. I will take the hand down, I will turn it around so that I can see it from all angles before I put it in the lamp and set it. Because Kiara Sky, once that's set, nothing ain't budging that. Now that beautiful crown that I told you about is going to go here. So I'll pop down that gem gel. I'm going to smoosh it around, go from left to right, pull it down slightly so that I can push that crown, that beautiful gem, into that gem gel. Push it in. Make sure I'm perfectly happy with the placement. Again, right before I pop it in the lamp, I will check it from all sides, make sure it's level, then give it a full cure. Then I'm going to come back to that ring finger. I'm going to pop a little bit of the gem gel again. This in between, while it's in the lamp, I'm smooching through my drawers and I'm looking. It's at the side of me and I've got, I've got all these gems in all these different pockets you know these little containers so I'm rummaging through and I'm thinking what have I got because I really really I want to go all out I want it to be super sparkly and I want to have a I want to have a play and I found these beautiful squares so I popped them on then I came in and I used the bigger AB crystals at the top and the bottom and I popped some smaller ones in at the side then I'm going to pop that into the uh, lamp, give that a full cure, and then that's that nail done too. Then all that's left is to pop some little gems on the little finger. I do want to put some on, but I don't want to go mad because, oh well, all right then, just a little bit mad. <laughs> so then I'm going to give it a big cure in the lamp. I'm going to make sure that everything is set. Then I'm going to top coat around these gems, guys. I am not going to go over. I'll even get a detailer brush and go up and around to help secure that in. Then we are at the end of our nail play today and this is the finished design. Guys, I really do hope you've enjoyed my Jubilee Jewel set. I know I certainly enjoyed digging around in my drawers and having this little play. It's been a long time coming. Guys... Thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, would you mind hitting that thumbs up? And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. Until next time, please take care. Thank you. Bye.